Climb through the clutter. These are the hard facts. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, you've got to stop comparing yourself to your competitor. So many times when we launch a business, create a product, service, solution, or launching a new product or solution, we're comparing ourselves to the competitors in market to see what our unique advantage is, to communicate to our customers why they should buy us versus them. But don't put it on your website. Don't put it in your email marketing and don't put it on your social media. You don't want to educate your clients about your competitors. What I don't recommend is creating content based on your product and comparing it to your competitor's product. The reason being is you're creating doubt and creating awareness for that competitor. Whether it's a product, service, or specific item that you're selling your clients, what you're doing is you're saying, hey, those of you that were interested in purchasing my product, go take a look at my competitor over here. Somebody who may never have had interest or done any homework is now around the web searching for more information on what the best fit is for them. So that additional awareness may be taking business away from your company. So I just said, don't create comparison pages. Here's one instance though, that I would recommend you move forward with a comparison strategy. If you're looking to conquest a specific company, manufacturer, or brand, stealing their customers essentially is what we're looking to do, what we want to do is create a comparison strategy, a conquest strategy. What you could do is create comparison pages, but really look and say, is this the only piece of content that is going to show my product in a better light? Is this the only piece of content that is going to get somebody over to my website and see why they would wanna purchase my content versus the competitors? If you've answered all of those questions and say, yes, I need to compare A to B to be able to win that customer, then create an ad strategy that drives customers over to a hidden page on your website. So in other words, don't add it to your navigation tab. Utilize specific ads through the display, search social media channels that drive customers over to this landing page, making sure you have an opportunity for conversions and to drive them throughout the rest of the website. That's just another example how a hard fact turns into a solid strategy. Like, tweet, or comment below on a topic you'd like me to cover, and I'll see you next week.